Right, so following on from our visual inspection on the appliances, making sure we've turned them off, making sure our cooker lids are up and that the isolation valves are open, it's now time for our tightness test. So what you want to do first is get your U gauge and we're going to test it to make sure that we know our test is going to be okay. So what you do for this, just tilt it slightly so that your water moves, put your thumb over the end, lift it up and just make sure that stays still. If it doesn't, it might be that you've got a hole inside, otherwise it's perfect to go. Okay, so once we're happy, what we're going to do is just turn your gas off with your ECV and then we're going to unscrew the test nipple. Make sure your tube's okay and put it on. Make sure it's pushed in as far as you can. Okay, so the first part of our test is the let by test. So what we're going to do is on your gauge, you want the water to reach 7 to 10 millibar. And what that is going to do is make sure that when this is in the off position, no gas is passing through. So if we just move it up. Right, so as you can see, on one side we're at 8 and on the other side we're at 7. So that means we're testing at 7.5, which is fine. So we're just going to sit here now and wait for one minute. We're hoping in this time nothing happens. So what we want it to do is just stay at 7.5. If it rises, that could indicate that we've got let by. If it drops dramatically, that could indicate that there's quite a large leak inside the house. So if during that one minute period it goes up, that could mean that there's let by. That means that the gas is coming through while it's in the off position. If that did happen, what we'd have to do is make sure your TCBs are connected, pour some LDF inside, and if it bubbles, then that's going to be a gas transporter job. If it dramatically drops, that means that there could be a gas leak inside the house, and that's when we'd have to go and trace and repair. So once we're happy with our let by, we're going to move on to the next part of the test, which is temperature stabilisation. So what we're going to do is raise the gauge up to 20 to 21 millibar. Okay, so we've got that at 20 millibar, so what we're going to do now is just wait for a minute. In this time, it's just a stabilisation test, so we're not really bothered if it goes up or down. If it goes down, after the one minute, we're just going to put it right back up to whatever we started on. Okay, so our temperature stabilisation was okay, so what we're going to do now is carry on with our tightness test, which is going to last for two minutes. In this time, we're testing the whole installation inside the house with the appliances connected. Now, with this meter that we've got, we've got a G4, so what that means is, over the two minutes it could drop four millibar as long as there's no smell of gas, appliances are connected and our pipe work is under 28 mil. Now if we had a meter that was an E6, like this one, it would be eight millibars. So following our successful tightness test, what we're going to do now is detach your gauge, put the test nipple back in and then we're going to make sure that we spray LDF all along just to make sure that nothing bubbles before we start our exchange. That was tightness testing. Don't forget, if you're not a gas safe registered engineer, you should not be working on this unless you're supervised under training. I'm Katie, and that's been the Knowledge Hub with Universal Skills.